Now breaking news about another high-ranking statewide official uh, who finds himself embroiled in a blackface photo controversy. Uh, Hans Nichols is standing by for us yeah. there in Richmond with the very latest. Hans, what in the world is happening in the Commonwealth? Craig, this is another wrinkle and a very complicated situation down here in Virginia. Here is the latest. Mark Herring, who is the current attorney general, has just admitted that there is a photo of him in blackface from his college years when he was 19 years old at the University of Virginia. He met earlier today with leaders and members of the Black Caucus here in Richmond. He expressed contrition. Here's what he's saying in his statement. This is a one-time occurrence, and I accept full responsibility for my conduct. That conduct clearly shows that as a young man, I had a callous and inexcusable lack of awareness and insensitivity to the pain my behavior could inflict on others. Just to reset here, Craig, we, this is the attorney general. The lieutenant general here in Virginia is also facing allegations of a sexual nature. He has vehemently denied those. He just put out a new statement, though, saying that you need to treat all accusers with dignity and respect. That is all stemming from the initial scandal that broke last Friday and and that is Governor Northam, the governor here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Their photo came out of that was attached to his yearbook page from his medical school yearbook that showed two, one person in blackface and one person in Ku Klux Klan outfit. The dominoes have been falling on this, but the three senior elected officials here in Virginia are now facing scandals, two of them uh, uh, racial in nature and one of them sexual. We'll get back to you, Craig, when we have more. The, everyone's going into session right now. The behind me is the legislature. They're going to Senate on the House, into session on the House and the Senate. And this is a very fast moving situation. Craig? Uh, we should note that the lieutenant governor there has vehemently denied the sexual assault, yep. uh, says it was a consensual relationship. Um, yes. We should also note here the attorney general, in, in that part of that statement that you read, goes on to say this conduct is in no way reflective of the man I have become in the nearly 40 years since. Hans, do we know how this most recent blackface photo uh, came to light? We don't, um, and we haven't seen it yet, or at least I haven't seen it here. What we know is that the Attorney General Mark Herring was aware of its existence. In that statement, he talks about sort of always being aware of it in the back of his mind. It was something that he shouldn't have done, and he thought it might compromise his ability to do what he wants to do for this state. So this morning he met with members of the Black Caucus. It was a closed-door meeting there. That's where he uh, made the admission. He had an apology there, and then he made his statement, uh, the statement that we've just read to you coming out. Craig? All right. Hans Nichols for us there in Virginia. It would seem as if perhaps a reporter should ask all of the statewide elected officials there in the Commonwealth uh, if they've ever dressed in blackface. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.